Hello, virtual kindergarten families. It is Mrs. Growth, and I've got another short video for you. So I just wanted to share some ideas with you on how you can support your little one. Now that I've met with almost all of the kiddos in their one-on-one -on -one assessments to get an idea for where they're at with their letter power, um, do they know the uppercase letters? Do they know the lowercase letters? Here are some ways that you can support. So if you noticed while your kiddo was doing their assessment with me or in your work at home, that they um, only know a few of the letters and maybe some of the letters that they haven't learned yet are letters that are in their name, the best thing that you can do is to work with the letters in their name. Those are the letters that are most important to, to them. So in letters are really symbols, right? And we are trying to unlock the code. So I might be able to write my name, Jen, but if I don't know that these symbols have names, these names make sound, that's gonna make it tricky for me to read. So let's start off by learning that my name is Jen, J-E-N. So your child may be able to write their first name, but we want them to be able to name the letters that are in their name and then know that those letters make sounds and the sounds together are what make words. So have mix and fix the name and say, can you find the J? Can you find the E? Can you find the N? And then take those letters, bring their name on over to an alphabet chart and say, can you find the J? Where's the J on the chart? They'll find it and they'll say J. So let's start with the letters in their name if they need to work on identifying those first to be able to name those letters, all right? And it's really helpful to have them practice saying the alphabet slowly with pointing power. So that means I'm touching A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and stop them, have them stop every now and then and say, what letter are you under? What was the last letter that you said? You just said G, so this is a G. So that's how you're going to be able to help to teach your child. Because in this virtual kindergarten classroom, it's not going to all happen on their live lesson time with me. There's so much other support that they're gonna need to be successful. And that involves doing all of these things that we wouldn't be able to do all together in a whole group online because I need to meet each child where they're at. And some of the kids know their letters, they're ready to think about sounds. Some of the kids know some of their letters, they're ready to start mastering the entire alphabet. Some of our kiddos are at the beginning of letter power, and so they are learning to identify and name the letters in their name, and then we're gonna branch out to the whole alphabet, but we're gonna get everybody where they need to be by working together. And that means working when we're in our live session and also incorporating it into your day. Does that mean you always have to have the letter chart with you? No, but you could be out on a walk and say, oh, I spy an S, can you find the letter S? Ooh, I spy a three, we can shift gears to math. Can you find letters that are hidden on mailboxes, on homes, on buildings? Find those letters and numbers. And we really wanna help them understand that letters make sounds and sounds make words while well, numbers are also symbols but numbers tell us how many so if you are hearing your child answer for what letter is this and they say a number you're going to want to say to them show me that number show me three fingers show me four fingers numbers tell us how many letters give us sounds what do the sounds say we go to the keyword chart and we look at the pictures that help us remember all right Thank you for all of your help at home. I'm super excited that you chose virtual um, kindergarten because that means you are ready to collaborate with me in your child's academic success this year. Thank you so much for all of your help and patience. I know it's going to be an amazing year. Take care.